Hello! Today's review will feature a uh, kit from our new cooperator. As you can see, it's IBG Models, a uh, Polish company. And the kit itself is a 172nd scale model of the track Diamond T969 Wrecker. As you can see on the front part, we have this nice box art. The box itself is printed from the glossy material, and it's not that big, as you can see in comparison with my hand. On the sides we have some uh, safety information and some information about the actual truck. It's classical top opening box. We have inside uh, accurately, like carefully packaged spruce, assembly manual, towing cable and that's all. Let's begin from the spruce. They're packed into plastic bags, as you can see they're quite noisy. But it's not a problem to open them. Just give me a second to get them out. Okay, let's zoom the camera and focus it on the small parts. Okay. In total there are three plastic sprues. All of them are molded from the grey plastic. Here we have a first one, as you can see it contains uh, wheels, which are molded as one piece by the way. And together with the tires as you can see, so it's quite useful approach, let's say, especially in this scale. Then we have some body parts, um, cap parts also, and even the front bonnet part uh, with no interior parts and here we have uh, suspension parts as well even some small parts for the engine <laughs> that's all for the first sprue let's move to the next one uh, this one also contains some body parts such as doors, fenders and maybe what else, even front grille is here then we have some suspension parts once again and also engine parts you can see here main block together with the transmission and here are some other minor parts which will be connected with the engine Modern quality is surprisingly good, I mean I don't see any sign of the flesh and parts are molded quite carefully, I mean even smallest ones have thin attachment points and proper shape. Let's move on to the next sprue. I don't know why it's separate, maybe due to the version of this truck, because there are several versions. We will review them as well. But here and now we have Wrecker. So just a second. Okay. Once again, uh, body parts, some suspension parts, towing hooks, uh, some parts for the actual wreckage equipment and towing equipment as well okay then as I said here is the towing cable and also there is um, small film for the front screen, windscreen and also some decals for the marking option let's find out how many marking options are included into this kit first of all we have this assembly manual printed in black and white and it's printed in form of this quite big brochure as you can see in comparison with my hand uh, we have here uh, cover chart which is given in Vallejo numbers uh, also we give here parts map 
and here as well. Assembly instructions are given in form of 3D pictures which will show you what to do and which part connects to another one. Then we have, I mean, I have to show you how it's assembled. Here you see it. And here. Don't worry, there will be detailed photos in our article as usual. I'm more interested about the marking options because they are given in a quite interesting way. I think there is only one marking option. You can see it here. It's even written here that it's Royal Canadian Army and it was used in October 1944. You have here the decal application guide which shows track from all sides and don't forget that it's black and white so you will have to guess <laughs> that whole track is a leaf drop of course. So that's pretty much all for this kit. Um, I think parts count for the 70 second scale is quite impressive. So, and also molding quality should be useful because it's really good, it's a really nice one. Nevertheless, don't forget to check full article on our website. I hope you will find something interesting there as well. And also don't forget to subscribe to our video channel and like our Facebook group. I would appreciate it. Thank you and see you soon.